Mother Nature, most amazing and the biggest color palette, serves us a variety of hues and colors. Be it your home garden, park or a tourist spot, the colors stimulate our brain more than anything else around. While browsing those flowers, butterflies, birds, you may feel spellbound. The mesmerizing and hypnotizing power of colors can be soothing, arousing and nostalgic. One day you suddenly realize that zinnia, poppy, rose, lily, tulip, all with red hues are grabbing and centralizing your attention. Oh, red is your favorite color? What about your wardrobe? Are hues of red dominating in your life? From clothes to wall, cars to flowers, one color that attracts us most is definitely our favorite color. What does your favorite color predict about you? Your strength, weakness, positivity or negativity? We need to learn about color psychology to find all the answers. Colors are familiar and comforting. And one of the first thing we learn as very young children, even before we learn how to read, write or count, is color. Newton observed that color is not inherent in objects. Rather, the surface of an object reflects some colors and absorbs all others. We perceive only the reflected colors. Thus, red is not in an apple. The surface of the apple is reflecting the wavelengths we see as red and absorbing the, all the rest. An object appears white when it reflects all the wavelengths and black when it absorbs them all. Red, green and blue are the additive primary colors of the color spectrum. Combining balanced amounts of red, green and blue lights also produces pure white. By varying the amount of red, green and blue light all of the colors in the visible spectrum can be produced. Considered to be part of the brain itself, the retina is covered by millions of light-sensitive cells, some shaped like rods and some like cones. These receptors process the light into nerve impulses and pass them along the cortex of the brain via the optic nerve. The colors having low wavelengths like soothing green and blue are the most common in mother nature's landscapes. They are well known to improve our concentration and increase efficiency, hence creating an atmosphere of stress-free and well-being. Alarming red, a high wavelength one is very active and intense. No doubt why Valentine's Day is all about this color. That said, if you wear red color are likely to draw more eyes too. With the same reason, red lips are most attractive. Above all, mellow yellow, considered by color psychologists as the shade of Beyonce, is ultra enthusiastic and crisp among all other shades. It is believed to prompt novelty and is best used in work environments where Artists, writers, designers, developers and other creative professionals work together. So what do four psychological primary colors that is red, blue, yellow and green represent? Red represents the body, blue the mind, yellow emotions and green the balance. How color psychology and seven body chakras are related? When we talk about color psychology, it is relevant to mention our body chakras. Seven chakras and the individual colors of their centers. Chakras are complex energy centers placed along the spine and up to the head and can be activated and balanced with yoga and meditation. 
The seven chakras in human body sense the complete range of frequencies entering a person's personal energy field called aura. Each of the seven chakras has corresponding color matching with the color pattern of a rainbow that is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet to be read in reverse order that is fib cure. Each of your chakra is vibrating at a particular frequency and also responds to a different vibration or wavelengths of light. These colors represent information on different level, mental, physical, emotional and spiritual. This information can further be used in chakra balancing and chakra healing. We will v- briefly discuss here what color psychology had to say about how those colors can affect your life. You can use this knowledge to understand more about the role that chakras play in your life. So what color you are wearing this festival, Christmas or Valentine's Day? You can take help of the color psychology to energize or shift the energy in your chakras by wearing cloths in that particular color especially when it's some great moment in your life or a great festival like Christmas. Meditating with the appropriate color tones or even getting creative with how you focus your energy on that particular color. Hence, by being around the colors of your chakras, you can easily enhance them. Since color is simply vibration, you will actually be influencing chakra centers of your body that vibrate with the same color. So it is up to you and to decide what color you are wearing this holy Eid, Deepavali. Or Christmas. Are you ready to pick your favorite color? Color red, physical. Red represents the root chakra of your body, located at the base of your spine. It deals with our basic survival needs like food, shelter, safety, positive, physical courage, strength, warmth energy, basic survival, stimulation, masculinity, excitement, negative, defiance, aggression, visual impact, a strain. Having the longest wavelength, red is a powerful color. Due to its property of appearing to be closer, red is the most attention grabbing. Therefore, it has made a prominent slot in traffic lights, ambulance, fire extinguishers, etc. worldwide. This electrifying color can impact your brain to increase blood pressure and pulse rate. Being a strong color, it can also activate fight or flight instinct, quite similar to the situation of facing a danger. Your liking of red color predicts that you are a purposeful but aggressive person. You can fearlessly cross the hurdles coming in your way and with strong willpower, you can accomplish most of your dreams. You are passionate, strong-willed and quick-tempered. Color Orange Orange is the color of your sacral chakra, located in the womb area between the navel and groin. It centralizes around the fluidity, ease of movement, expressions, emotions, sensations, creativity, sexuality, and intimacy. It is responsible for who we are and how we interact with others and with ourselves. Positive things about correct color orange are physical comfort, food, warmth, security, sensuality, passion, abundance, and fun. Negative traits, deprivation, frustration, frivolity, immaturity, 
a combination of red and yellow orange is stimulating and a combination of the physical and emotional state of being it focuses on our minds on the issues of physical comfort such as food warmth shelter etc and sensuality orange is a fun color negatively it might focus on the exact opposite that is deprivation it is particularly likely when warm orange is used with black equally too much orange suggests idleness and a lack of serious intellectual value color yellow color of our solar plexus located in our navel center from the sternal to navel yellow represents the fire element this is the space of your power and transformation it centers on our abilities to overcome inertia and take our best decision and believe on ourselves the positive traits of color yellow are optimism confidence self esteem extroversion emotional strength friendliness creativity negative things around color yellow are said to be irrationality fear emotional fragility depression anxiety even suicide the wavelength of the color yellow is relatively long and essentially stimulating in this case the stimulus is emotional therefore yellow is the psychologically strongest color the right yellow will lift our spirits and our self esteem it is the color of confidence and optimism but the excess or incompatibility with other tones in a color scheme can cause your self esteem to plunge giving rise to fear and anxiety color green green is the color of our heart chakra it bridges our physical and spiritual nature This is the fourth one out of a total of seven chakras. Hence centers three lower physical state and three upper spiritual state body chakras. Its element is air, hence represent freedom, expansiveness, lightness and simplicity. Positive traits of color green are harmony, balance, refreshment, universal love, rest. restoration reassurance environmental awareness equilibrium peace negative boredom stagnation blandness and enervation green is soothing to our eyes and needs no modification therefore most restful being in the center of the spectrum it is the color of balance a more important concept than many people realize when the world around contains plenty of green it indicates the presence of water and a little or no danger of starvation so we are reassured by the color green on a basic level negatively it can indicate stagnation and incorrectly used will be supposed as being too mild color blue intellectual the color blue symbolizes the throat chakra it represents our spiritual nature and located at the throat center the element of throat chakra is space so it has an opportunity to create a vast channel of communication so this focuses on communication self expression honesty authenticity and verbal and non verbal both kinds of communication skills indigo a variant of blue represents the third eye chakra located between our eyebrows it corresponds to the pineal gland gland a cone shaped located in the head center at the same level of our eyes 
the element of the third eye chakra that is ajna is light and it represents our ability to see both inner as well as the outer world positive things around the color blue are intelligence communication trust efficiency serenity duty logic coolness reflection and calm negatively it may increase coldness aloofness lack of emotions and unfriendliness blue has more influence on our mind than body contrary to red color the blue color on the wall of your room will increase tranquility and calmness bright blue can brighten your thinking and soft more serenity and we owe a lot to color blue because of our existence on the planet blue we can't survive without water which again wears hues of blue no doubt why blue is the world's favorite color in spite of all positivity blue is considered as cold unemotional and unfriendly color violet our highest chakra the crown chakra symbolizes the color violet it integrates all the seven chakras into the oneness it is located at the crown of the head the element is cosmic energy it centralizes around cosmic consciousness enlightenment transcendence and spirituality positive things around color violet are spiritual awareness contentment vision luxury authenticity truth and great qualities Negative traits involve introversion, decadence, suppression, as well as inferiority. Violet has the shortest wavelength in the color spectrum, commonly referred to as purple. It has the ability to take our awareness to the highest level into the state of a spiritual level. This can make you highly introvert and encourage deep examination and meditation state. Violet has associations with royalty and usually communicates the finest possible quality. Being the last visible wavelength before the ultraviolet ray, it is related with time, space and cosmos. Excessive use of purple can bring about too much contemplation and the wrong tone may relate to something cheap and nasty. Color pink. Positive traits around the color pink are physical tranquility, nature, warmth, femininity, love sexuality and the survival of the species negative inhibition emotional claustrophobia emasculation and physical weaknesses being a shade of red pink also affects us physically but it soothes rather than stimulates interestingly Red is the only color that has an entirely separate name for its shade. Otherwise, usually hues of blue, green, yellow, etc are simply referred to as light blue, light green, etc. Pink is a very powerful color. Psychologically, it represents the feminine principle and survival of the species. It is nurturing. and physically soothing too much pink is physically draining and can be somewhat unnerving color gray positive things around color gray are psychological neutrality lack of confidence dampness depression 
hibernness, hibernation, and lack of energy. Pure grey is the only colour that has no direct psychological properties. It is, however, quite suppressive. A visceral absence of colour is depressing and when the world turns grey, we are instinctively conditioned to draw in and prepare for hibernation. Unless the precise tone is right, grey has a dampening effect on other colours used with it. Heavy use of grey is grey usually indicates a lack of confidence and a fear of exposure. Color black. Positive traits are sophistication, glamour, security, emotional safety, efficiency, substance, negative, oppression, coldness, menace and heaviness. When all the hues are fully absorbed, you get a black color. The psychological associations of that are considerable. It creates protective barriers as it absorbs all the energy coming towards you and it shields the personality. Black is essentially an absence of light since no wavelengths are reflected and it can therefore be menacing. Many people are afraid of the dark. Positively, it communicates absolute clarity with no fine nuances. It communicates sophistication and uncompromising excellence and it works particularly well with white. Black creates a perception of weight and seriousness. It is a myth that black clothes are slimming. The truth is that Black is the most recessive color and a matter of not drawing attention to yourself rather than actually making you look slimmer. White color, positive, hygiene, sterility, clarity, purity, cleanness, simplicity, sophistication, efficiency, negative, coldness, barriers, unfriendliness, elitism. Just as black is total absorption, white is a complete reflection. In effect, it reflects the full force of a spectrum into our eyes. Thus it also creates barriers but differently from black. And it is often a strain to look at it. It communicates, touch me not. White is purity and like black, uncompromising. It is clean, hygienic and sterile. But concept of sterility can also be negative. Color brown. Positive. Seriousness. Warmth. Nature. Aldiness. Reliability. Support. Negative. Lack of humor. Heaviness. Lack of sophistication. Brown usually consists of red and yellow with a large percentage of black. Consequently, it has much of some same seriousness as black but is warmer and softer. It has elements of red and yellow properties. Brown has associations with the earth and the natural world. It is a solid, reliable color and most, most people find it quietly supportive more positively than the ever popular black, which is suppressive rather than supportive. So, have you got your favorite color? Which one is yours? Just understand that there is no single color that has more value than the other. The color is simply what it is, an aspect of the visible light spectrum and its particular frequency. To learn more about the color psychology and chakra balancing, yoga, meditation and mindfulness, kindly click the link in the description below and get a chance to download my free ebook. Please like and subscribe to my channel, yogis. Namaste.